U.S. Department of Justice to investigate Southern Baptist sexual abuse. On August 12th, Southern Baptist Convention, or SBC, officials announced that the U.S. Department of Justice would lead an investigation into widespread sexual abuse within the largest Protestant denomination in the United States. The DOJ, Department of Justice, says the probe will include multiple church agencies. This announcement follows a years-long effort from survivors and activists to hold the SBC accountable for shielding abusers and predators within their ranks for decades. It all started to fall apart for the SBC in February of 2019, when a report released by two major newspapers in Texas revealed findings of a year-long study on sexual abuse within Southern Baptist churches. According to the report, over the last 20 years, more than 700 cases of abuse have been filed. Approximately 220 pastors, ministers, youth pastors, Sunday school teachers, deacons, and church volunteers have already been convicted. The church body refused to release its secret database of abusers until last May. The organization had previously claimed in 20, 2008 in regards to tackling abusers that they could not tell its 47,000 member churches, quote, whom to hire or ordain. Finally, the church reacted by bringing in the Guidepost Solutions Independent Investigative Firm, which released a nearly 300-page, quote-unquote, apocalyptic report earlier this year that church leaders had systematically mishandled claims and mistreated abuse survivors. Law enforcement seems to have taken an interest in this report with the potential for initiating further prosecutions based on its findings. Amazing. So people are going to go to jail for this? Potentially. Potentially. So I wanted to talk about this because we talked about this apocalyptic report from the Southern Baptist Church a few months ago. And at the time when, you know, we were digging into what was found, what was uncovered, all this stuff, what you kept on asking was, okay, cool. We found this out. Who's going to jail? Who is getting prosecuted? Blah, blah, blah. And I was like, well, nobody so far. We don't know that so far. Like, we just know that they had these findings. And, but there hasn't actually been any movement from law enforcement, right? And now it looks like the hammer is starting to drop and law enforcement, the DOJ, is taking an interest. Now, like I said, there is a potential for initiating further prosecutions. I don't know how likely it is to happen et cetera, et cetera. But based on this bombshell report, suddenly it's prompted movement from the DOJ, which is huge. The largest Protestant denomination in the United States is now being probed by the Department of Justice. If I was being probed by the DOJ, I would be scared shitless. <laughs> <laughs> that is not All who we... you want knocking on your front door. Yeah. All we get is just the Indian courts and police, like, pfft, like step it up, like we need to catch up. But um, oh, you mean of who's knocking on our door? <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah. So about 20, 220 pastors, ministers, youth pastors, Sunday school teachers, uh, deacons, and church volunteers have already been convicted. Two, 220 been convicted already. So these people have been like like molesting you know left and right like how much like 20 like i don't understand like how much what are what are the numbers like 220 people have been like what are they are, are these people who are been covering up or the people who are actually involved with the sexual abuse so those are people who are involved with abuse that were actually convicted and some of them were allowed to continue working within the SBC after being convicted and serving their time. So that's part mm. of the problem. They faced a conviction for these types of crimes and the bot the church body allowed them to continue to have positions of power within the church, including having access to children. So but what's huge the problem. what's the what's the rationale behind that? Like what do you think wouldn't you wanna even if you're acting out of your own self interest? Wouldn't want you want to like just sacrifice these people so that the whole organization can survive? They so part of what this is 
is trying to cover their own ass with liability. So that's why they kept a secret list, a secret list of abusers for years that they refused to give over until like this year because of the liability that they would face because of it. Maybe they have some freaking justification. Oh, Christian love, forgiveness. He served his time, blah, blah, blah. Maybe there's an addition of that as well. But within the original report, this original apocalyptic report from the independent investigation, a lot of that focused on how the SBC was explicitly self-interested in its own liability. And that dictated a lot of their actions. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that might be the, the primary cause. And Dee is bringing up a good point. She's saying, yes, but remember, 700 cases have been filed. So those are mm. convictions. There are hundreds more that have been registered or taken note of within this broader apocalyptic report. Right? So mm. that's a huge problem. And um, that's maybe where there will be a source of more investigation and possible prosecution by the DOJ. And D is also, D of course, of course, is bringing up another good point. She's saying this is something that the DOJ usually stays out of because the DOJ is a federal body. And so they usually become involved when things become federal crimes, like human trafficking across state lines, that kind of thing. So there are some people that think that the DOJ involvement in this or probe might actually be inappropriate to a certain extent, because these crimes, unless they did actually involve, you know, human trafficking in some form or fraud, for example, um, they may actually technically have a better local jurisdiction. I don't know how accurate that is legally, but I've seen people expressing that pushback to this. Or maybe they've done something that we don't know that involved that would get the DOJ involved. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I just can't still figure out why I go through all these lengths to protect these people when they are bringing out the whole organization. Like, why not just sacrifice them and let them? Yeah, because at first they're covering their own ass in terms of viability and saving face. Mm. But ultimately, it is going to lead to a situation like this where it brings everything down. Yeah, yeah. So you basically should right. yourself. I think it's like a, it's like short-sighted. Yeah. So first you would think like this would be embarrassing. It would be bad for the church reputation. So let's hide it. But the process of hiding it makes the problem a lot more more yeah worse like, like forever stormy is saying i think the cover-up is a bigger issue here than the presence of abusers who happen to be everywhere yeah. that yeah. yeah exactly that's that's my problem that's that's what i'm saying like they they were like trying to cover it up because they thought that the, having the abusers will make them look bad that's why they were covering it up but the cover-up is actually worse than the fact that you have abusers. Because the fact that you have abusers, if you were not taking the side of the abusers, then people wouldn't be holding you responsible. You were like, well, you're against them. You you kicked them out. You 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 gave them to the police. But now this is a bigger embarrassment than having abusers because you're on their side. You're on the side of the abusers. Anyways. Yeah. D is saying, I searched for a statement from the Department of Justice on this, but I couldn't find anything. So that's also important to note that the DOJ has not put out any statement about why they're investigating, what they think is worth investigating within their jurisdiction. They have not said that they are seeking for their prosecutions, anything. It has only been the Southern Baptist Convention themselves who have acknowledged that this is happening. But this uh, is like a really important update from the story that we were covering a few months ago. Forever Stormy is saying they can't even pretend to be holier than thou. No, no, okay. then. This is a very good point because it goes against what I'm saying. Okay, oh. because the entire the entire business model is that if you're holy, you're good, right? So the reason why they feel or that they need to hide that because that will completely undermine their entire business model mm -hmm. if they have abusers, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So it's a it's more of a revenue, yeah, yeah. saving, yeah, strategy. Um, oh, there was something else I wanted to say. Oh, yeah. So this is an interesting point. So the whole, I don't know how to say this the right way. One thing that I was thinking about is that, okay, so the DOJ is raining down upon them for this, right? Like, does 
in a way, does that kind of validate their own effort to save their own skin in terms of liability? Because they've released this huge report and now the DOJ is coming down on them. See what I mean? No. Can you explain? If their lawyers were taking all these actions that we find is immoral mm -hmm. for all these years in an effort to protect their own skin, to, to protect their own liability, and then when finally people push so hard that they do investigate and they do release this independent investigation, and then the DOJ is coming after them protect, potentially for prosecution, um... does that not kind of prove the point of the people who are like, we are going to protect our own skin because we have legal right. See what I mean? So, yeah. So this might I'm not saying it's right, sense. but yeah. Yeah, 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 morally yeah, yeah. right, but strategically, maybe yeah, they had a point. This is why, I'm this not is why excusing we're hiding. them. Let this me be clear. I'm not excusing them. What they did know, was I wrong, know. but. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You, you know, you don't, you don't want to get uh, accused of being a sympathizer with <laughs> to, to, like, we'll, we'll cover this next time uh, in the next news. Because Susanna was recently accused of being um, a terrorist sympathizer. So we'll, we'll cover that, actually. But no, no. But you, you're right. This might be sending the wrong message. You're like, see, this is why we need to hide this stuff. Because if when, when the information comes out, we get the goddamn DOJ on our asses. Like, maybe we, this, is what, this is what we were afraid of. Okay, so yeah, you're right. Mm, yeah. I'm, I'm like, yeah, what are the implications of that? If yeah. people are like, oh, if we do our whole investigative report in an effort to well, bring I mean, things to light and heal and be more accountable, all this stuff, and it brings the DOJ on our front door, maybe we shouldn't be doing this kind of thing. Maybe well, this will I mean, disincentivize other congregations from doing things like this. I mean, the, the, my answer is that it shouldn't be a choice. Like, yeah, maybe it will disincentivize, you know, like even if you don't have the incentives, the, the forces are should be too great for you to say no. So it shouldn't matter. Your incentives should not matter. Yeah. Like the justice system just needs to come cracking down on your... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Obviously, I'm all for that. Yeah. yeah. I'm just saying we, we, we shouldn't worry about... we Instead of worrying about what message this sh this sends to them, is crack, we should make it so that their incentives are irrelevant because they have no other choice. That's what we should be pushing for. Hey guys, if you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest Blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.